I'm Edie Lesh, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos, absolutely terrified about my next interviewee, Dana Boyd, Principal Researcher at Microsoft Research. You've got a new book. It's complicated. Now tell me what it's about. It's about how young people use social media. So really a decade worth of research into every fear and anxiety that parents have. Okay. <laughs> now what fears should I have the most? Um, actually, part of the book is really to, to complicate those fears and to say that what your, your job as a parent is, is to help kids navigate this by asking them critical questions about their lives. Not to focus on the technology, but to focus on all the social dynamics that are part of their everyday environment. So tell me... My son's on Instagram. He's got a lot of friends. I've tried to limit to the people he knows. I don't even know if that's working out. But tell me, is that the biggest fear I have, or what's the biggest fear I should have? So, you know, part of it is that when young people go onto a site like Instagram, what they're trying to do is they're trying to express themselves. They're trying to be part of their friend groups, and they're trying to be a part of public life. Mm -hmm. You know, as adults, we've spent so much time really constricting young people's access to public life, and yet as they come of age, what they really want to do is be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And so your challenge with this is to help him come to terms with being a part of public life without mm -hmm. necessarily giving him, you know, anxieties about it. Um, and my, you know, encouragement to you is just to sit there and ask questions. Why is he doing it? What's he trying mm -hmm. to get from it? Has he thought about this? Mm -hmm. That kind of questioning will do so much in helping him navigate it, mm -hmm. and that's going to be your biggest success story. So I've tried to help him do kind of frame shots, interesting, find interesting the things to photograph. We talked about filters, so that's all working. But what about the privacy aspect? What about stuff that, I don't know, does he want this stuff forever? Because once you put it on the internet, it's there forever. You know, young people are trying to work out what privacy means in contemporary environment. And one of the things that's so fascinating about what they do is that they're really attentive to privacy in light of their parents. Mm -hmm. They don't want their parents to know everything right. about their lives. Right. And so what they've started to do is instead of trying to restrict access to content because they know that you'll look, mm -hmm. it's trying to restrict access to meaning. So that photo of a donut may not actually be about a donut. It may be a total okay. joke amongst him and his friends. Right. And it's this way in which they're playing it out that becomes really, you know, ever present. Now, of course, they don't want everything to be around forever, mostly because it's a, a digital baggage. Yeah. And this is why you start to see sites like Snapchat pop mm -hmm. up or services mm -hmm. like Snapchat, where it's ephemeral. And you're starting to see this idea of like, you know, when you're done with this phone, don't save all of the photos, you know, move on mm -hmm. um, because of the fact that you don't want everything there. But what young people are really thinking about is their parents. They're thinking about the people they already know, the people who hold immediate power over them. They're not thinking about the government or corporations. Ah, I'm totally terrified, Dana. Thank you so much for stopping by the no Hub worries. Culture Pavilion here Thank in Davos. And I'm going to read this right now. I'm Edie Lush here in the Hub Culture Pavilion.